1978, Polaroid released the SX70 sonar camera. It allows you to autofocus. using sonar technology, which is in this little speaker looking spherical uh, top attachment. Now, I don't know about sonar technology and I use Polaroid cameras for fun. I really enjoy shooting Polaroid. One of the first cameras I ever had was a Polaroid 600 box camera and when I was able to purchase my first SX-70 Alpha about four years ago, it was an extreme joy. It's a little fussy to get some SX-70 film. Recently, they have been out of stock um, <clears throat> at a lot of local camera stores of the SX-70 film. And you can buy a little filter that you put in the 600 film pack and then it creates a little bit of a sepia tone, a little bit of brownish tone uh, to the shots. And I prefer to shoot a out of a SX-70 pack if I'm using this camera. And I will use the 600, just depends on if, it's, if the SX-70 is available to me or not. So this is the sonar version that I bought three, four years ago. And it's, you know, it's got some battle damage on it. I, I bought it like that. The autofocus feature works great. The exposure works great. It's just a it's just a good solid camera, and I'm really proud and happy to have it. There are no odors, no fungus or anything that I noticed, and you know it all works. It works correctly. I have an empty pack in there. Let's see if we can just to, just to show that it's working, but. You know, clean the rollers a couple of times. It might be due for another cleaning. And I try to stay up on uh, just keeping it nice and clean. I don't take it out in the rain. I don't uh, take it out in the extreme cold or anything like that. And uh, The rubber housing here is not cracking. It's nice and soft and malleable. It's just an all-around good camera. The one thing that there is an issue that I notice every time I use it is that the collapsible uh, housing here, which is, I believe, aluminum or some kind of metal, there's a little bit of a ding there. So when you push it down, it gets stuck. But all I have to do is just kind of make sure that I give it a little push so it can collapse in on itself. And, and it's all good. Also, part of the leather cover is coming up and that's not anything that really concerns me. Uh, I may get a new skin at some point but I'm very gentle with this. I, I treat it very well and I'm very happy to have it. I have put this on a tripod before when I've shot at night and I just kick the exposure all the way up so that I can get a nice um, so that I can get a nice evening shot. And I did take a picture of the Oh goodness, what is it called? Uh, Epcot Center at Disney. And I got a really good, really good shot with that. So I'm really proud to have it and I'm really happy to have it. And let's see, I'll show you the. Just take you around the camera real quick. And when I was <clears throat> in another state, you know, occasionally I'll look on Facebook Marketplace to see if there are any cameras out there, Polaroids. There was a time where I was buying 600 cameras or even the SX-70 kind of like box camera. I think they might, it's not the Sun camera, uh, but I bought a couple of those on there. And one time I found this really unique listing where they had one that was in the original styrofoam box and the guy that had it got it from his grandma she actually had two of them and they didn't know what was inside they were just in these foam boxes in her attic and he cut the tape and that was inside 
never shot, never used. Beautiful SX70 sonar, brand new. And I was just delighted to be able to find it, to hear his story, and to, to pick it up. I'll just walk you around the camera real quick. Just a beautiful piece of machinery to have in your hand. It's so substantial as far as weight and construction. And that's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The stainless steel or the brushed aluminum is really nice and it's just very easy. You can see there's no no dings or damage on that top housing there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful camera. And I don't know exactly how to tell when this was produced. I know I looked on the you know Brooklyn uh, Film Camera website to get a little more information about you know when this camera was produced. And it says 1978. So uh, if anybody knows how to tell the exact production year I'd be I'd be happy to know happy to learn about that and there is a flaw with this which was unfortunate let's see so it pops up really nice and usually it will just this lever will engage let me show you just really easily. So on the other one, like that, and I, you know, maybe I shouldn't have pushed on that. Uh, probably supposed to only push there. But it just engages, and, it, and then it's up. This one, however, and I'm not sure why. I don't know if it was because it was stored for so long or if there's a bracket that wore out or something, but I have to click it in. And it doesn't seem natural, it doesn't seem right, it seems totally incorrect, just based off of feeling. Uh, and it still can engage. Let me show you there. There's a little smudge there. I don't know if that was done by me. It probably was. Either when I was looking at it, or I can't remember if that was actually in the... Uh, on it when I first got it. Let's see, I got the little exposure wheel, I got the manual focus. That little lever allows you to select manual focus or auto focus. So if you push it up, it kind of blocks your ability to access that wheel. And then when you click it down, you can access it. So let's. There's how you release the to put the film in. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Everything is super clean. It's hard to get a shot of the inside. And then if I put the test cartridge in, there we go. I'll show you the little. There's the little electronics wire. Man, everything is just so meticulously designed on this camera. It's just beautiful to have. I've met several people that just have these, maybe they're in working condition or not, just sitting on their, on their shelf, and they're just beautiful uh, pieces of vintage art, if nothing else, if you have one that's, that's not working. So, all right. And the other issue with this, and I don't know, again, if it's because, what did I just do? Okay. So, let's see, what did I just do? So the other thing I can't 
figure out is on this one, the sonar, it doesn't just automatically focus. So if anybody out there knows what could possibly be wrong with this, it's in mint condition. Uh, and there's just a couple of, couple of issues. And I don't know if it's something that was caused you know, when they owned it, uh, if that's why they never opened it, but he said he cut the tape. Um, you know, he said he cut the tape when he found it, like, a few days before I ended up buying it. So, just based off that story, I mean, like, it looks mint. It doesn't even look like it's ever been shot. Um, so, I'm just not sure what could be going on with the, with the autofocus, and you can manual focus, which is fine, so it basically just turns it into an alpha, and that's not the full functionality of this, of this camera, so it would be nice to be able to get it so it was in fully working order, just like, just like my original one, or the first one that I purchased here. So it's a really nice camera, and I'm just making a video to share it, uh, with you and hopefully somebody from the Polaroid community can give me a little more insight about you know what might be going on with the camera why this lever doesn't engage if it's uh, something that I can fix or if it's something that needs to be sent in for repair I just haven't been inclined to do that uh, yet because you know there's cost to even just have somebody you know to mail it out and have uh, retrospect or Brooklyn film camera look at it and then also with the sonar I imagine if this was a 1978 version which again I don't know if it is that there probably is some atrophy in some of the electronics if they're not used or in some of the, the you know springs and um, you know fittings and fixtures and everything that I just don't know about so uh, please leave a comment in the comment section if you know anything about what might get me up and running with this. Uh, and also, yeah, just general comments or stories or thoughts about the SX-70 Polaroid camera because I'm a big fan of them. I have an Alpha and then I have these two and I'm really proud, really proud to have them. So, and I don't know if I'm going to long term hold on to this long term or what I'm going to do with it, it's, I kind of just bought it and put it away, and, uh, yeah, I don't really have a plan for it, I have one that I use, and that's it, so, all right, thank you very much, if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up, and like I said, a comment, and if you like the other content in my channel, uh, most of it's toys and trading cards, uh, you know, I'd love for you to subscribe, all right, thanks a lot.